The 2018 Global Competitiveness Report released by the World Economic Forum shows the United States holding the number one position, pushing Switzerland, which held that rank for nearly a decade, into the ninth position. On the African continent, Nigeria moved up 10 steps from 125 to 115 in the survey of 140 countries ranked. The WEF survey looked at 48 indicators, organized into 12 pillars that include institutions, infrastructure, macroeconomic stability, business dynamism, and innovation capability. The latest higher ranking of Nigeria is therefore a testimony to the various presidential business initiatives of the current administration. The Buhari's government has spent record monies in infrastructure, focusing on institutions rebuilding and ensuring macroeconomic stability, helped by steady and higher oil market, exchange rate, and stronger capital buffers. According to the report, Nigeria scored 47.6 out of a total of 100 points. On average, countries scored 60 points on the ranking. So the ERGP, the pillar that deals with competitiveness, uh, developing a, a globally competitive economy, is divided into two parts. You have the hard infrastructure, which is the roads, the rails, the power projects, and then you have the ease of doing business intervention. Pivotal to all this is the creation of an enabling business environment in which businesses can thrive. The intervention is focused mainly on small and medium-sized enterprises, and we try to put in a systemic intervention that makes it progressively easier to do business in Nigeria. This shows that the Nigerian government still has a lot of work to do in raising the country's competitiveness position in the Committee of Nations. Boston Namofaye, Channel Television News.